Hey folks, and welcome back to the Ryan Sullivan Show podcast, episode 46, which you can now watch on Spotify and YouTube. Yay! Today's top story, the infamous Saturday afternoon nap. Everyone does it, but what's the right way? You want to avoid zonking out for two plus hours, because that can fuck your shit up. Also, a quick 15-20 minute banger can leave you wanting more. So today on the show, we're addressing those hard-hitting 30-plus-year-old issues that everyone's not asking for. (laughs) Okay. So no, for real, welcome back to the show. And uh, we keep some moving. Mother trucker, dude. That hurt like a butt cheek on a stick. So yo, welcome back to episode 46 of the Ryan Sullivan Show. Um, and episode 45 does exist, and it's some, it's deeper shit. It was too deep. It was too deep for the gen pop. Too deep for gen pop. Episode 45 does exist. Episode 45 does exist, but it's too deep for gen pop. Way too deep. If you want it, it's there. Spotify, YouTube. Holler at your boy. Um... But uh, it's called Part of the Solution. And it's on some, you know, spiritual lyrical. You know what I'm saying? But today, we're addressing the hard-hitting issues of the Saturday afternoon nap. Everybody does it, but what's the right way? Do you go for the two-hour banger that's almost impossible to recover from but feels so, so yum-yum? Or do you go for the 15-minute sensation which always leaves you wanting more? Today and more, we're addressing those 30-plus-year-old issues on The Ryan Sullivan Show. So keep it locked. Yo. Uh. Turn that, turn the snare up in my headphones a little bit. Uh. Yeah, it does exist. But it's, it's too deep for rap. It's too deep for these haters, bro. And it's, uh, it's good. It's about, um... You know, make it, well, just listen to it. Shut up. Listen to it. That's the whole point. Why am I going to talk about last week's podcast? But it was too deep to share. Slash forgot about it till Sunday. <laughs> Recorded on Friday night. Like a good old boy. And then I need to not, I if I'm going to shake my legs, because your boy got irritable lessless leg. Irritable lessless, bro. Your boy irritable lessless on him. And... I can, I have to choose. If I want to be irritable restless, I can't keep my arms on the table. You know what I'm saying? Arms off. Hands off technology if I want to go irritable restless. But, if I want to put elbs elbs on the tapes, I can't do irritable restless. Otherwise, it looks like we're in a category four. The whole podcast. You know what I'm saying? And you're going to be like, geez, Ryan, take a nap. And I'll be like, well, fun fact, I was just right, I was in the back studio there, just having a <laughs> snooze. But it was a light hitter. It was one of those just fucking <laughs> express naps. I took a puff, puff pass of a nap, one might say. I did not gravity bong a nap to the head, which is what I usually do on a Saturday. And it almost always ruins my Saturday. There is no better feeling than at 12.30 after having... I got up at reg time. I got up at regular time, my guys. I always do. I can't sleep in. Now that I'm on the straight and narrow, I can't sleep in past 9 o'clock. I forced myself to stay up until fucking 3 a.m. last night watching Alien, which I didn't remember. Um, Oh, man, I love movies pre-CGI. And everything visually in that movie is, it exists. Don't get me wrong, and we've talked about this before, I love CGI as well, okay? I'm looking at multi-cameras, okay? So sorry about that. I need to keep it locked right here. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, what's good? Um, I love CGI shit shows as well, but I love pre-CGI when they made the entire set. And Alien is insane. 1979 it came out. 
So I'm going to be watching all of the Alien movies for the next week. I dropped Ozark. I'm just... I'm just... <coughs> excuse me. But yo, back to the matter at hand. The whole reason we're here with you today. I was just in the studio, in, in the back room. I was in the green room. <laughs> Rocking a nap. Because I love... There's no better feeling than going to take a nap. Chocolate? No. Yeah. Chocolate? Making out? Naps. In that order. Um, and there's no better feeling when you don't need a nap. Because, yeah, your boy gets up at the cracka. They call me the Kraken because I'd be up at the dawn of. Oh, we're firing on all syllables today, boy. You're in for a treat! I shouldn't yell. Sorry, it, it Fs up my totally mediocre mic setup. Um, but yeah, I was watching Aliens, and then I was like, oh, I'll sleep in. Can't. Can't. Because I'm too health and fitness, bro. I'm way too health and fitness, dude. I'm way too health and fitness. I wake up to possibilities these days, you know what I'm saying? Ain't had a drink or a drug in 14 months plus a couple days. That's an achievement, bruh. And so I was like, ooh, Friday night. I'm going to stay up late. And I did. And I was like, I'm going to sleep in. And I can't. <laughs> so I was up at the cracker. I was cracking them. And uh, played a bunch of Fortnite. And then, um, and then, yeah, it was like 1130, dude. That's a great thing about getting up early. It's like, you got a lot of day left. You got a lot of day left at any point in the day. You're like, damn, there's a lot of day left. And that's a good feeling. I used to hate that feeling so, 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 so much. How many hours left in the day? <sighs> that's too many. Get me out of here. Give me some magic potion. I want to take off. But now it's a spectacular feeling. And it includes the luxury of being able to, at 11.30 a.m., be like, I'm going to have a snooze. Now, you have to decide. Am I going to another planet for two hours? Or am I just going for the quick recharge? Because traveling to Jupiter... Is feels so good in your mind and when you lay down and you're like, I'm getting up at three <laughs> on a Saturday. And you don't need extra sleep. Your boy, I need six hours. It's I could argue that having more than six hours can even have a negative effect because it's too much. But um yeah, that feeling of going down for a snooze and just knowing that you can just go far, far away. But you got to make that decision. And often I'll be like, well, I'll let my body decide. Um, and there's that argument of like, well, well, your body needed it. You know, like mom, mom, mom's voice playing in the back of your head. It's like, holy shit, I had a two and a half hour nap on a Saturday afternoon. Well... Your body needed it, you know, probably. Work's been stressful. But there's always a silver lining. Everything's about perspective, and you just got to decide how you want to feel about things. Oh, quick therapy. And, uh, but yeah, having the power to be like, okay, how long are we saying bye-bye for? How long are we saying bye-bye for? And... Uh, you, the thing about taking the long nap, the problem with going six feet deep is it ruins your day. It does. You don't bounce back fully. You just don't. You just don't. Because you, your mental goes into this state of like, this isn't right. And then it's like, okay, it must be right. Maybe we're traveling or something I'm not sure about. <laughs> Maybe you're, you got left brain, right brain trying to figure it out. And they're back and forth. Left brain's like, no, no, it's bedtime. Trust me. Left brain's the sadistic manipulative SOB. No, 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 it's bedtime. 
It's just daylight savings. That's why it's still light out. So right brain's like, well, you've misguided me before, but eh, we're supposed to be a team. Okay. Okay. Good night. And then, of course, you know, I don't know whether it's the clock tower or just like my internal whatever, like digestive system or something wakes me up because it's like, dude, it's the middle of the day. <laughs> um, and you don't bounce back. You don't come all the way back. Sleep-induced psychosis is what that is. And you're a bit cranky. <coughs> Going down, when you go down for the long nap, it feels amazing. And you're laying there for that. Because your body doesn't need the sleep. So you got to lay there and wait for it to kick. you got to wait for the kick like you're playing Leo in Inception, my guy. you got to wait for the kick a solid 15, 20 minutes. Maybe half an hour you're laying there waiting for the kick. And just... To the seventh ring of Neptune. And off you go. And you don't come all the way back. Because you're a grog star. And you're not supposed to be doing that. Because you don't need it. And you're forcing your body to. And you, you don't know. Um, and you kind of have a nap hangover, to be quite honest. You have a nap hangover. And you don't come all the way back. And you try to pretend. Now, but before reality kicks back in, that feeling when you wake up in bed... And it's a Saturday afternoon at like 2, 3 o'clock. And you're just the coziest you've ever been in life. And you think, maybe I should just stay here till tomorrow. You're so supremely comfortable. You could sell that comfort on eBay. Starting bid, $4 million. It's so cozy there's nothing cozier there's nothing cozier and then you gotta decide okay i gotta get up and it's so hard to get up and often it leads to another half hour 45 minute and then you're just you're 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 dancing with the devil is what you're doing <laughs> you're dancing with the devil and that's a card that's a hand of cards you can't win my friend <laughs> And you get up and you're fucked. <laughs> the rest of your day is gone. You can try to pretend, but look at me in the eye. You can't lie to me. You can't na lie to the nap demons. You want to lie to the devil? Huh. He's ten steps ahead of you. You're going to pay for that. And your appetite's a mess and you're just... You know? And you kick yourself a little bit. You, you life moves on. Don't get me wrong. You still and go get your groceries and whatever. Watch some TV. Maybe watch a game of sports. But you kick yourself a little bit in the back of your head. Why did I do that again? Now there's option B, which is the nap you should take. But the nap you should take, you don't want, and the nap you want, you shouldn't take. Isn't that life, my friends? Isn't that so brilliant? Philosophy here. Young Plato on the track. <laughs> Young Plato on him. Someone quoted Plato at work the other day. Someone spouted out, we're talking about nothing important. And someone had the balls to go, well, I think therefore I am. And I was like, did you just play down there? <laughs> so, and it totally just wasn't relevant. We were talking about pogos or something. Something so surfacey. And someone goes, yeah, well, I think therefore I am. And I was like, what did you say? <laughs> Jesus, Murphy. And he loved it too. I'm not naming names. I was like, what did you say? And he goes, you know, just a little. Yeah. Drop Play-Doh on him. <laughs>
at the lunch table on a Wednesday. What's good? So, and then there's the 15, 20 minute hitter. And it's, it's disappointing from the jump because this is the one you got to set the alarm for so that you don't slip over to Neptune. You don't want to accidentally go on a two hour journey through space and time. So you got to set the alarm, which sucks. You're already bummed about that. And you go and you're... And often, when you hold yourself, it messes with your head. It messes with your head and you don't end up falling asleep. You might get a little loofy. You might get a little loofy in the clouds for a few minutes, five, ten minutes, but you never, go, you never fully shut her down. Because you're thinking about like, oh, there's 18 minutes left, 17 minutes left, 12 minutes left. You know? <laughs> It's like Woody the Woodpecker. <laughs> 20 minutes left. And uh, you're just like, God damn it. And often you, you don't depart. We, it's not, you never get to the wheels up. And you just get up out of bed. And you're like, all right, fuck it. I don't need a nap. I shouldn't have done this in the first place. Um, but yeah, if you do slip off for 10 minutes, 15 minutes... Um, you're choked when you wake up. You're like, oh my God, I want more. So, so, so bad. And the amount of self-discipline required to get your candy out of the goddamn sheets at that moment is so hard. It's harder than trigonometry, dude. It is trigonometry is what it is. Hardest university course I ever took. Algebra at McGill, night class, 6 to 9 p.m. after working full days at Off the Hook, standing on my feet. Think I, You think I had a hard time with that? Fuck sakes. That was so hard, dude. Not a numbers guy. Um, but yeah, it's not as hard as algebra at McGill at night school, but it's close. <laughs> God, just talk about setting yourself up. I was dead broke. Wouldn't eat breakfast cause couldn't really afford much food. Work in retail. Also addicted to buying clothes and would have coffee for breakfast. I would get a six inch subway for five bucks for lunch and then I'd work all afternoon on my feet and then I would go to school from six to nine how much do you think I retained I'll tell you none of it what's the newest province in the Canadian territories none of it absolute set yourself up for failure so, uh, but yeah, getting up from that 1520 is just so, so hard and you're cranky, but you bounce back, but you do come all the way back, but you do come all the way back. And that's what it's all about. It's all about coming back. Keep coming back. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, we covered the topic. The most pressing topic is the Saturday afternoon nap. So today, I pulled shoot. I was bored, and it, that two and a half hour banger was, Hey, listen. You know the little fairy from Zelda Ocarina of Time? I forget what its name was, but it would give you tips. You know, you get little prompts at the bottom <coughs> of the uh, screen. Being like, hey, listen. And it would ask you if you want advice on something. What an excellent game. What an excellent game. And uh, I don't need an app, but I was like, okay, I'm going to do it. And I just, I just, um, I went down 
and in the in the green room back here and I just never fully got there and then I was at the precipice I was at the jumping off point I was laying there with my eyes closed nice and comfy which which was great I loved it and that for that it was worth it but then it had been like maybe half an hour and I was like okay here's the jumping off place get up out of bed right now and just take this for what it was and move on with your life be grateful for the gifts you've been given and go on with your day. Because, my son, you are going go-karting today. Can you believe I, Ryan Patrick Sullivan, have never set foot in a go-kart? That's facts. That's facts, and I'm doing it today. And I'm going to be seeing some friends, and it's a work birthday, but it's going to be awesome. And I was like, take this gift for what it was, which was just a cozy laydown. You had a cozy laydown. Just call it, call it what it is. Take it for what it's worth. And move on. And live your life. Or you stay here for another five minutes and close your eyes, and you lose the entire afternoon and you're cranky for the rest of the evening and so i did the right thing like spike i did the right thing and i got up out of bed and here we are and i was like you know what this is a this is topical this is relatable i can talk about naps for half hour for sure and then maybe sprinkle in a little bit of something else. Um, but yeah, 20 minutes, 22 minutes have gone by. That's how important these issues are. That's the kind of stuff that I'm here for. I can also go spiritual lyrical on them. You know what I'm saying? I can go backpack, backpack rap for you as well. Speaking of rap, Kendrick's album is boring. Maybe I'll change my mind about it. And they're like, bro, just wait on it. I listened to it once, sort of, when I was working out one morning. And never again. Because, I don't know. I don't know what I wanted. But I'm just being honest, bro. I've seen many people post it. Masterpiece. Give this... Give him a give him a golden globe or whatever. I'm just like, and I like quality music, bro. It's not that, um, but uh, by the way, it's dope when your team at work has good music taste. And we, the desk clump, the marketing team, we have great synergy in the musical department which is awesome when someone's like you guys mind if i play music and it's not you because i'd rather not listen to me like i'll put music on but i'd rather not listen to music if someone is gonna be like ah, oh, can you put something else on and i don't take that personal but if someone says hey can you change the song at any point then it's better to just not have that risk because you mess up the vibes. And I'm absolutely okay with not listening to music. And, but pretty much when anyone on the team puts on tunes, you're like, I would listen to this, which is a great, great feeling. So... Um, but yeah, as soon as somebody says, oh, also when somebody says, Hey, here's some etiquette for you. Here's, here's just for sure office etiquette, but just like life etiquette. When someone puts on music, never, ever make a recommendation. Never, ever say now, there's a way to suggest, okay? Don't get me wrong, but you have to be polite. There's a way to do it. You don't say, hey, can you change the song? Mm. <clears throat> oh, 
Let me get my thoughts together out here on this one. You can say, can you change the song? Uh, here's what you do. If someone's like, hey, can I put on tunes? Boom, contract. You're shaking, hey, you agreed, you said yes. You now are, you are now being a good friend and you're listening to their tunes because you said yes. Um, but when someone is rocking a playlist and you say, hey, can you put on ba ba ba? It's super rude. You don't do that. You just don't do that. When someone is tune selecting, you let them select the tunes. When it's your turn, honey, it's your turn, okay? Now, you can inception them by, hey, that reminds me of, or blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? You can sprinkle a suggestion and make them think that it was their thought. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man, that reminds me of that one song, you know, uh, who's it by? It goes it goes like, ba da da ba ba da ba 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 da and then they'll be excited about the thought that you're you got some wheels going and they'll be like, oh, that's fucking Tame and Paula, whatever. Oh yeah, great tune. And then they'll and then they'll be like, Yeah, we should play that next. And then you're like <laughs> Inception. I love office politics. It's fun. Life's a game of chess. So uh yeah. I'll just I'll just leave it at that. Good luck with your Saturday naps, both today and for the rest of time. Leave your comments below. Follow me on social media for more. At Sullivan Ryan on TikTok and Instagram. And the podcast is also available in video format, as you already know, both on Spotify and YouTube. So that's episode 46, I think. Should be. It might be 47. We'll find out after I press stop. So, stay blessed. Thanks for listening. Peace.